Song time. Fucking hate you, part three. Everyone's a nerd about something. I'm not. I, I, I hate to interrupt the, this really great song, but party, party well, you know what? That guy can go fuck himself. With it also, like that guy is a legit cunt. Your hate nourishes me, man. Holy shit, Missy. Nick looks so hot with his Sid Vicious hair. Again, I, I gotta get, I give so much credit to how clever these, uh, the monsters are always, the, are, they're like designed and how they work. It's just so clever. Catch a leash to that spiked collar and hide a pill for him and some peanut butter. Well, Mona, we're not being funny, we're being hateful. Can't we be both? Hey, when I want to snuff the pain, I'll ask. Why don't you go get lost and play crooked us and shit? Is that how you feel, Missy? Slut says what? Well, fuck you then. I hope we don't need that walking Daily Mail article. We already have the perfect crook. Damn right. I hope she OTs. And then pulls through, taking the recovery time to work on herself. Ah, bitch! Okay, potential Dr. Plain Talk suspects. Devin LeSeven, Rabbi Paulwart's adult son, Leor. That actually would make a lot of sense if we... You know, there's a lot of theories going on that Leor is actually the ponytail killer, and I subscribe to that theory. Honestly, I think it might have been Nick. Of course! He's probably pissed because he told the whole school he makes your pussy want to sew itself shut. <coughs> that is such an uncomfortable visual. I don't need to... Ugh. Ew. God, that is so uncomfortable. Let me try to imagine my urethra sewing shut. No, that's actually... Actually, that's probably less. That would be less bad because it's like a, a much smaller hole. But... Alright, well, compare it. Let's imagine a needle going up into the, into the urethra. There we go. That's, that's about equally bad. That is not what I said. It's what I heard. If Nick did this, I will never be able to forgive him. I... I will just- You'll hate his fucking guts? Well, that seems a tad harsh. Maybe, maybe not. Do you wish ill on Nick? Do you want him dead like a doornail? I don't know. Jesse, help! Nick, so you gonna flatten the little shit or what? Yeah, you gonna be a bitch and run me over like a bitch, you bitch? Dude, what is your- That is not even, like, good line. Like, that's not even good insults. I mean, you make my insults look great. Your problem? Do you want me to hit you? Seems like he does. Oh. Nick is being such a dick. Now that is actually interesting, seeing Jesse go through. Like, Jesse is not the one hating this time around. Like, for once she's... Okay, well, she hasn't sorted herself out, but she's... Actually trying to, for once. And it's, it's just a, good, a fascinating reversal for all these characters. Yeah, but I guess I don't want him to die. Huh. So you don't completely hate him. Yeah, that seems to be what's going on. Honey, what's happening? Woo! Let's... I forgot. I wish I figured that would happen. Well, things just might become. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to get used to saying that. 
All right, just gonna hang out at Nick's house like normal. Or you could burn the house down. Might not even mention how no. true it was that he and Missy were hey. together. Or you could mention it while you're pissing on his tiny charred corpse. No, no, I'm just gonna say hi. Okay, I'm just gonna. Wow, Nick! Hey, hey, shut the door. What the hell? Daryl? Who the fuck is Daryl? Who doing it here? If you're having sex, I hope it's safe. No, it's not like that, Andrew. We're shitting all over Jesse's bitch face. Check it out. I photoshopped her mugshot. Ooh, send me that. I'll post it on Dr. Plain Talk. Whoa, you're Dr. Plain Talk? Oh, the doctor is a woman. She must be a gynecologist. This was a good riddle. Missy, I. It's, it's not as good as the men saved her. Like, we'll never get as good as that. I never figured you for a troll. I'd get off your high horse if I were you, fart boy. You're the poster <laughs> child for yucky behavior. Yeah, but... Yes, but Andrew is making an effort to redeem himself. Granted, it's extremely hard. Considering the shit he's done, but he's making the effort. Like, this is... Like, you don't really have much room to criticize him, especially when you've been... Not, nothing. But nobody wants to touch the poster, because it's covered, covered in my jizz. I know that line. We're all having fun at old Andrew's expense. Yeah, well, that's what the show is, dumbass. Hey, 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 don't you... you dare undercut what we're doing here. This show is middle-aged people playing masturbating children who with big feelings. And they get their periods. Wait, Maury, have we done a queefing episode? No, there's no queefing No, episode. no, no. We don't need that shit. We do not. We do not need a queefing episode. I, that is where I draw the fucking line. We don't do that. No. So I keep pitching it. That'd be funny. Right? Well, this big fat masturbator and his big feelings are hurt right now. So what are you gonna do? Cry about it? Oh, are you a crybaby? You know what, friends, in quotes? Being here is bad for my anger sobriety. Well, good. Don't let the door hit your lumpy butt on the way out. Okay, well now I know you're just jealous because I've got cheeks for weeks and you both just have flat kid ass. Cheeks for weeks. Ain't that a charity? Cheeks for weeks. Hey, babe. Steve's gonna pop by for a drink before dinner. Is that cool? Oh, that's great. I'll start heating up some almond milk on the radiator. Where the fuck are you guys living? Is that Nick's house or what? Hey, what was that for, you stinky stud? I love you, Lola Ugfuglio Scumpy. Well, for Pete's sake, I love you, Jane Zarian, Rick Quarian, Bill Zarian. Oh, my God. You said it. You love me? Like, duh. <laughs> Jay is love! Jay is love! My dad was wrong. We're in such, like, a healthy place right now, Jay. I agree. Coming... You're a couple of kids living in someone's attic. I, I don't think that's healthy. Home to a woman who loves me. Stealing dinner... See, that... I, okay, that's my point from earlier. I'm gl so fucking glad. I... We'll, we'll let him finish his sentence. From the Burgess kitchen? This is exactly what I was missing when I Wait. was deep tonguing down with Charles Lund. Oh. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that, but... <sighs> I'm so glad I missed this shit. The whole relationship stuff, because I see where it leads. Heartbreak. Obviously, all high school romances do. Except for the one... Except for one. Oh... Two of my friends who worked together since high school did get married. Congrats. Um, but... Like, that shit leads to heartbreak. Or, alternatively, teen pregnancy, and then you're tied down to life as a kid. I have a very negative view on marriage and, ch and children, okay? Hold on. Pause. Pull it back one more time. No, no, no. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot we had to stop this.